Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Sally Turner. As an innocent woman slept in the comfort of her own home, three young assailants came in the dead of the night and broke into her house. As she was in her bed, they poured a cocktail of acids over her face, burning her skin, melting her eyelids, nose, mouth and ears, leaving her partially deaf and almost blind. The woman in their eyes had committed a crime, and that crime was rejecting their sexual advances. Nine years on, Sunali Mukherjee, 27, is appealing to the Indian government for medical support for skin reconstructive surgery, as well as tougher penalties on the three boys, who were released on bail after three years in prison. Either that, she says, or authorities should give her the right to kill herself. Her desperate plea highlights the heinous crime of throwing acid on women in India, the lack of support for victims and the lax laws which have allowed attackers to get away with what activists say is the equivalent of murder. After so much disappointment, I have appealed to the government for mercy killing. Life is a huge burden for me and the main reason for that is financial problems. We tried a lot and after exhausting all options, I request the government that if you can't give me justice, can't give me health, then this is the last option. Give me mercy killing. The three men were her neighbours and harassed her as she left for college every day at the age of 17, where she studied sociology. When she threatened to call the police, they took revenge, leaving her with 70% of her face, neck and arms burned. The men received nine-year jail terms, but were out on bail in three years. Acid is increasingly being used as a weapon, but there are no licensing laws for those who sell or purchase the deadly chemicals. Acid Survivors Trust International reports that there are about 1,500 acid attacks around the world each year, with 80% of them being on women. Sally Turner, IB Times TV.